Here we go again, back with more Pro Cycling Man Season 2015 and the Africa Challenge. My name is Jokin Olsu. Today, just started the second season. You can see my budget is a lot higher now. It's once come is a bit down, but we have some new races. We've upped the difficulty a bit, so sponsors, uh, the races are a bit more tough than last year. We have races like Qatar, Oman, International, Tour of California. Uh, just, yeah, a lot tougher conditions. And the races we had last year, we have uh, some much harder goals instead of. So the our most important race this year is actually the Amgen Tour of California in May. Hopefully we'll uh, enter that. I haven't entered once again any World Tour races. We have also signed some equipment, so we have a bit more money here as well, which is a nice change of events. Of course, team is practically the same, since uh, it's pretty much impossible for us to sign any new riders. But the uh, first objective, as you saw, was a stage win in Tour St. Louis. I selected a team without a sprinter, since I don't really care too much about the sprints. So there's two mom states, I believe, and maybe a flat stage, a uh, hill stage, stage two, stage four, a time trial, and stage six. So I think we'll just start up with a time trial here, similar to the first flat stage here, and yeah, Kreib will end up winning it. We don't have any sprinters. Um, so small pelts, I don't know who's facing. We also have this race we did last year. I think this was the first race we did in the series, but yeah. This one we don't care too much about. Um, I've entered a lot more races this year because our riders was, was not satisfied last year at the small amount of races we did. So I'm upping the ante a lot. So um, our riders will be a lot more tired, but on the hand, hopefully they'll be satisfied by the amount of new races they'll try instead. Uh, yeah, we didn't do anything spectacular here. Let's get to stage two and see the... Yeah, I've just, you can see here, I've just entered some more races. I did actually get a lot of them though, so I'm pretty surprised about that. I feel like we have a good squad. We entered, entered third last year. But let's look at the favorites list here. We have top three, but Valverde and Aru is in this race. I don't, I don't like that at all that we have Valverde and Aru. I, they're probably not in the best shape at this point of the season yet. But neither is mine, so we don't even have that advantage there. Let's get into the race and hopefully we can somehow come up, come out with a win on one of these three stages. Okay, we're now closing in the final climbers of this race here. We have Mainz and Kamai, some protected riders here. Fanny Kerk, our new region rider who we signed from our development team, I believe, and Chiaoi as protecting them. Uh, we had taken Lamino on the breakaway for most of the day, but he's fallen back now. He's also minus five in day shape. This is our first of three shots to win this race, or win a stage in this race. We're up against Valverde and Laru. Valverde and Laru sitting both right in front of me right now. Um, yeah, it's going to be very difficult, this this race here. Of course, in this win, I should change Kamai over. I think I'm going to do that right now, just to be on the safe side here. And, yeah, Fanika can auto to the finish. So can uh, Tijawi. Take Tamino as well, I think he's done for now. He's blocking in Kreibel, but I don't think Kreibel will protect this jersey today either way. It's not the longest climb. It hasn't even started yet. But yeah, we're closing on the finish now. Sitting all the way up here next to Valverde ahead of our room right now. Six kilometers. I think I, I'm I'm going to start my little run here. I don't think Michael was ahead of me, which is a bit of a mistake on my behalf probably. We have guys like Galopan probably, Valverde. Aru, okay, Gamay comes up here. Rojas working for Valverde. Aru in the wheel of Valverde. Valkyrie, as you see, Galopan, Kreibel is still trying to hang on. I mean, getting the stage victory here will be very difficult because that will also require me to uh, to get what's it called the the leader's jersey. And I don't think there's many teams here who just want to give up the leader's jersey. Rojas moves here. Valverde still sitting back. I have a bit of a lead here, down to now 13-man group here. I think that's Koenig from Sky moving now. Uh, this will be close because I don't know if 90 is too much. It's not the steepest kilometers here, but it still goes uphill, so you can't discount that at all. Aru, Koenig, Valverde sitting there. Will this sprint pass me at the end here and ruin my dreams? I don't know. 99, can I keep them in front of me? Oh, I celebrated. Oh, that was really, really close. 
but I actually did it on the first stage here. Yeah. I'll take the leaders as, as well. Let's try and do stage four and six, maybe even the time trial. I don't think I think I got similar through it, and see what we can do in the overall standings. We might be able to do something that I did not expect here. Okay, at the beginning of stage four here, we have of course still in leaders jersey, mountain jersey, and on the twenty five jersey. This is a mountain stage, which means I'm guessing the favorites list is going to be a bit difficult, different. Uh, compared to last time, I actually think Aru is a bigger favorite than he than he was last time. On the other hand, we are more even with Valverde, but it's going to be very difficult to to beat Aru because I think the hill stats between me and Aru aren't that much different. 79 versus 77, but 78 up to 82, that's a bit more. So if he was so close to, yeah, we only beat him by a bike length, half a bike length or so, I think, on a, on a hill sprint last time. So this is going to be very close as well. Hopefully, we can keep up for a long time. Otherwise, we might be in trouble here and lose our leader's jersey. Okay, we are now pretty much at the bottom of the final climb here. So a few flat kilometers here, and then it starts. Teklamino is done, so is Klamini, who's already far behind. Fanikak will be finished off pretty soon. And then I'll have to switch Kamai over. Tijawi is not strong in the mountain, so once we hit the, the, the steep part, he will fall off immediately as well. But I think we should just probably do it now before it's too late. The might isn't as strong today, but hopefully he'll able to uh, hang on for a while here. All the favorites up here are still in fourth position, Valverde in third, Kuning fifth, Galopang is here, Lutsenko, Amador, Sepulveda, a lot of big names here. Mine is, of course, in Jesus jersey is up here as well. And I think Valverde went right there. That's really early. Well, it's probably smart. I, I hate it when they go early because I never know what to do. Uh, what do we do? What do you do? Try about 75. I don't think Galopang is going to last that long against Valverde. I, I, I keep forgetting he's actually pretty good in the mountains. I always think of him as more of a Gilbert type who's pretty much an exclusive puncher. But maybe I shouldn't just stop putting on the dot here. And go at my own pace. Nah, I'm I'm keep going at my own pace, not not stop going at my own pace. Follow the group here. Right now it's a stun. Aru is sitting a bit far back compared to Lutsenko. Is Aru struggling today? It surprises me that Aru is struggling because he seemed by far the strongest of the, him and Valverde uh, just two days ago. Mallory, Trofimov. But Valverde has gone quite a gap right now, about a minute already, and I'm not even that close to him at this moment. Okay, so Valverde is going to take the leader's jersey here. Question is only right now about how much I was dead. I don't know how that happened, but I'm not going to get that great of a finish either here. I don't care too much about winning now because that's that's all for Valverde here. Let's just try and see if we can finish as high up in the rankings possible overall. Uh, Bagil and Galopang, of course, were in the front group as well. Actually, Galopang wasn't, but Bagil is a little overtaker as well. Uh, so Pavita wasn't either, so we'll probably drop down to around third here, unless we get a big gap up to the group in front of us. That's probably where we'll be sitting around. Final climb is a really steep kilometer again. Where is Aru? He's still, he's still like two minutes behind us. Well, bad, uh, two minutes ahead of everybody else. He's just stormed away from everybody here. And I'll take fifth place here. Bagil in second, so I'll drop down to third overall. But I think I, I increased the gap from third to fourth place. The time trial tomorrow, I'll just simulate through that one. Don't care too much about it. Uh, maybe I'll get overtaken by maybe a guy like Mallory, who's a great time trial rider. But I think we can make it back on the final mountain stage. Okay, the profile of stage six, we're still in third place overall. After we, I think we gained 10, second up, 10 seconds of Bagil. So still, I was the favorite, but I was third favorite. I think I would just had a bad day. It doesn't make any sense to me how it went from like my, the best ride in the, in the race because I kind of cheated my way to the first victory. Um, but hopefully we can gain 20 seconds or so on Bagil here today. It's a bit further down than me, so it should not be totally impossible. It's a long final climb, pretty similar to the last stage we did. And it's flat and then just goes uphill for like the last 20 kilometers or so. It seems like a really long climb, this one. Let's get into the stage and find out how well we can do. Okay, last 25 kilometers here. We're going to make this a bit more tough right now because the slow side winds have already been a really tough stage, but the person slowed down because nobody had any energy left. So we're now, right now we're forcing Valverde and Aru a bit 
more forward here and using a lot of energy just by staying on the wheel here. See here, Valverde has to stay, uh, use energy here on the flat throw as well. Meanwhile, Midas is a bit further back, still in the front group if it breaks apart like it is almost doing right here, but a bit more out of danger than Valverde. See, Valverde is in single distance right now, hanging on the wheel of Ciclamino here, who's just pouncing on at the moment. But of course, have Mainz and Gamay with still a, a lot of energy left here. Um, Pilsen has broken apart a few times already. You can see that a lot of riders are struggling at the moment. Then us goes for the sprint here. Tegla Minot, Van Bale, Benfato. But ho I'm hoping this costs like well, well, a lot of energy. It's a bit maybe uh, not the fairest move to do, but I feel like it's all right to do. Uh, Van Niekerk, Tijau, yeah, we can stop them here. Kamai on Mindis now. I think Tiglamino can be done as well. And at this time I'm going to pace from like 65 from the bottom from the, to the top. Maybe more depending on how. I have Kamai to protect me as well. I just want to, uh, to have a high pace of this climb here for as long as possible. So that it's a call. I don't see an early attack from Valverde again. I don't think we will with how Tegla Minot has been driving at the, this last 5-10 kilometers here. But it's a 15 kilometer long climb, so it's not an easy one at all here today. Starts out pretty flat. It's only a small pelt at the moment, and a lot of these riders are tired just by hanging on on the flat road. So now that we start the climb, it should be even tougher for most of them. Of course, I have Gemaya leading me out. Castoriero protecting Valverde, König, Galopang. Amador, Aru, I haven't seen. Where is Astana? Aru is not here at all. He's all the way down here once again. Aru seems to be one of the, actually the first casualties of Astana at all. Uh, meanwhile, Kapeki is seeing a lot better here. Okay, we have some attacks from Galopan, König, Trofimov, Ravale, uh, Castrovievo, and Sausti now going on. Could probably up it to 70 since. Seems like there's still quite a few layers. Riders left. Rally is the only one who got away, apparently. Roach and Southy and all the riders did manage to, to uh, open up a gap big enough. Galapang goes once again. Koenig down to the 12th man group. Geske. Uh, where is Bagil? Bagil is struggling. That puts us probably up to second place right now, since he's already fallen off, off this pace. Rally is the only one who's really gotten away so far. Pace is still really slow, so I'm staying at 70 cent. That's still around 9 kilometers to the top of the climb now. Valverde apparently is so strong here. It's gotten away. Kamai uh, is done now. You can auto him as well, so we only have minus to worry about. The two think of Saxo riders. It's Rose and Trofimov. Koenig, Janatski. There's three riders up ahead here, about a minute or so ahead at the moment. Let's press them. I'm, I'm pressing now. Let's see if Koenig, Roach and Chenyatsky here can hang on. Roach is apparently the first victim here. So I'm coming up. Belvedere will probably hang on, but I think Raleigh is in particular will have the most trouble here. Koenig, Chenyatsky and Roach couldn't ha keep on for much longer now. I don't know if I'm going too fast. I wanted to catch them because I didn't want them to let, to let them get away once again. The same way Valverde got away last time. Would be a bit too similar in my opinion here. Raleigh and Galopan is done. Valverde actually is pretty tired as well, but I can't keep up a big enough gap to actually keep him behind me for that long here. But it might just be another stage win here for Africa Cycling. About 30 seconds or so ahead of Valverde, of course, for bonus things as well. Will be not be enough to take Lee's jersey. Should have done better in the last month's days. But it's definitely second overall. Bagil isn't even uh, over the fence line yet. And I don't think he will get top 10 either. Aru has, has actually going to get a top 10 place. Impressive by Aru. Of course, we all expect him to get probably a victory. Or at least two victories here. Here comes Bagil. Struggling in here at around 14th place. Around 10 minutes after me. I actually dominated that final climb. I really. Really proud of what I, what I did on the side wind uh, at the bottom of the climb because it destroyed everybody and I kept myself safe. And you can see guys who stayed further back like Galopang and Raleigh did a lot better. But rather, 
still managed to come second even despite uh, still in second position out in the wind for yeah the last 10 kilometers or so before the climb but let's simulate for the final state and see the end results okay so the final state ended up with a state win for Andre Kreibler ahead of Vardar Vipad and Daniel Rato I don't think we had anybody sprinters here so all the way down center nine mine is actually our best sprinter here so that just tells you what kind of squad we brought to this race we came for the overall standings and we did end up finishing in second place gives us a lot of points of course since this is a pretty big race if I remember correctly um, but yeah we ended up in second place uh, Bagil actually ended up uh, leaving the race here in the final states we have an update for some reason Windows 10 don't care about that so he, he dropped from second down to eighth and now entirely out of the race so he, won't, he won't get any points for AZ82R I believe it is not exactly Team John Everson of course it's Team John Everson um, so yeah, Gil Ping in third. We had Kamaya or Begis Hilbert down in 24th. Fanikak, our region rider, 19 years old, 71 mountains, 68 hills. Could become a pretty good rider, but I don't think his potential is that great. So not too sure about it. We hope we're hoping for the best for him, but it's not that likely. Um, that's pretty much the end of this video. We can see here right now if if we look at the CQ rankings, continental rankings, or our two states rated states. Victories here, and of course, the overall standings puts us up first. And team wise, we are also first. CQ rank rights, of course, we didn't participate in um, the tour down under. So, if you got some good riders, like you can see, Canada was one of the teams who got relegated last year. Avanti Iso Wasteboard is probably one of the teams who got a wild captains there, right here. I am Cycling is the other team who got relegated last year. So, the I am who has. Frank, Sandholst Enger, Kienka, uh, and Kopel, and Can Canadale, who has, who the Canadale have at this point, Talansky, Viviani, Rolan, Uran. See, these teams are going to be really tough to beat to uh, endure promotion, but we have to beat at least one of them, and of course, all the other continental teams who also want to get promoted next year. But that's it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, please remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I'll see you guys next time for more of the Africa Challenge. Goodbye.